All right, hey, welcome back to our channel, a Fox and Robin recording. Uh, we've been a little busy lately. We've done some short video clips here and there of some changes we've been doing. And we appreciate those who have watched all of our clips so far and continue watching as well. Uh, if you like our channel, please subscribe. We do have some more videos that we'll be rolling out this year. Hopefully, uh, hopefully some more this month, maybe even next month. Who knows? Uh, depends on how busy we get. But today, uh, we are here to talk about our pedal setup for the studio um, and how we use it and how it all connects and all that fun stuff. Um, we'll go through the pedals here, but first of all, I'm gonna show you uh, what it's all kind of, the platform it's all built on. It's built on a Pedal Train Metro 24. Um, and you can see here, it's got one, two, three rows of Velcro on top. And then we also put three rows on the bottom of Velcro for when we have cable runs underneath it and whatnot. Um, it changes from time to time. Sometimes they're up top, sometimes they're down low. But um, we are grateful that this was provided to us by a friend of ours, um, Ben. Uh, he lives down the street here. He had an extra run, so he gave it to us. Um, anyways, uh, we'll start with our pedals here as we have uh, the chain starts with our tuner here and then an overdrive. Um, it's the Glove by Electro Harmonics. Our tuner is the Polytune Noir by TC Electronic. And then we've got another uh, Electro Harmonics plug or pedal that's plugged in here that's called the Turnip Greens. Uh, it's got a Soul Food on one side and a Holy Grail Max on the other side. And that runs into our Eddy, which is also Electro Harmonics. It's a vibrato and a chorus. And uh, I think right now it's set to chorus, but sometimes we can set it with vibrato with just a switch at the top here. And then it runs out of that into a Canyon, also by Electro Harmonics, which most of our stuff is right now currently Electro Harmonics. Just great build, great quality, great sound. Really easy to use stuff, really cool stuff that they make. Um, and then obviously it runs out here into our pedal uh, connections for our amp, which in the studio here is, there's a set that we have at control room here and then we have a set in the, uh, the live room. But um, kind of tell you why we have these. Um, this guy is really nice because it will um, basically it just gives us everything. You just strum once and it gives you all, all your strings and tells you which ones are out of tune. Really simple, really easy to quickly tune. Um, but before I get ahead of myself here, I gotta show you the power and it's all ran here, basically all chained together from end to end. If I flip it around here, you can see it's got a chain here, chain, so on and so forth. And it pl plugs into a connect, one simple connector here. Um, that goes into uh, the wall. Anyways, um, really simple setup, nothing super. But uh, back to our pedals here. Um, Glove is a really good overdrive, really like it. It's, you can shift the tone, it's got a tone, sh yeah, kind of coming closer, you can see. There's a tone sh shift knob here, and then it's kind of set up similar control knobs to what would be like a tube screamer. Um, you got your volume, you got your tone, and you got your gain for output. But uh, love this guy. We sometimes we'll use it over the soul food. Sometimes we use them together. Sometimes you just use it as a boost. It's kind of a kind of nice little boost sometimes. Just depends on how you have it set. Uh, very versatile uh, pedal. The next, the next one here is the turnip greens and the reason that we love this pedal so much is it's two in one you've got your soul food on this side holy girl max on this side and then obviously your your verb on and your overdrive on and off um, but the cool thing about this pedal other than it's simple to use and it sounds great is it's got this switch here in which you, when I zoom in, you can see the switch a little bit better. It's a tiny little switch, just like on this guy, tiny little switches. Um, but this switch here tells you which one comes first in the chain. Either the reverb comes first, 
It's just depending on which direction you have that one. Sometimes that one's first and this one's second, or this one's second, this one's first. It just kind of depends on the sound you're going for, but it's a handy little switch. Um, but if you're to split this in half, you've got the Soul Food Overdrive, which is kind of a Klon type overdrive. It has, it's, a, it's, it's a very versatile one as well. Um, and it's got a volume, a treble, and a drive. Can't see these from where I'm holding them very well. And then on the other side, you've got the reverb, which you've got your blend and your time. So, you know, blend is how much you're using, how much you need. Time is how long it is. And then you've got your types. And on here, if you can see, which you probably can't really well, but it's got a spring, a hall, a plate, and a reverse reverb. And if I'm correct, only this version has the reverse. I don't think the actual regular ones, I could be wrong. Uh, if I am, you guys tell me in the comments below or send me a message. Let me know if I'm wrong because I don't know everything. Anyways, and then we move on to the Eddie, which is just an analog vibrato chorus also from Electro Harmonics. And it's got, you know, same, same, all these are the same switches except for these guys have soft switches. I guess they all have soft switches. Never mind. Um, but they're really nice. They don't make a lot of noise when you're clicking them on and off. You know, you don't hear the click in your in your chain. You don't hear this on off like you do some pedals. Um, but this guy's got a lot of knobs, and I'll kind of quickly go through some of them. You've got which one is vibrato? You got vibrato or chorus, depending on what you want. And then you can also change it to the rate it does it or the depth, just depending on which setting you've got it set in. Um, there's a volume here and a shape here, so you can kind of change how fast it goes or how slow or what if it's more of a square style. It, it's kind of it's kind of cool what you can change there. And then a rate kind of goes along with this little switch here, and it, it's handy. It just kind of tells you how fast it's going to go and so on. And then you have a tone on how you want it to sound. You can make it like really bright or kind of dark sounding. And then you've got envelope and depth, which are two ones that I really haven't messed with, but I'm pretty sure the, these two knobs all correlate with this switch. At least that's what I've noticed so far. Now, um, and like I said, if I'm wrong, let me know. But the cool thing about this pedal is you can hook in, there's got a little, little extra port here on the side that is for an expression pedal. So you can kind of control some of this stuff with a little separate like expression pedal. Um, which is very handy. Um, I haven't quite hooked up one yet, but um, looking forward to trying that out here soon. And then we've got the Canyon, which is, uh, it's a delay, um, it's a delay and a looper, but we've never really used it as a looper, mostly delay, and it's got all sorts of different types of delays, echoes, reverbs, uh, shimmers, all sorts of really cool stuff. And its knobs are very, it's got effects level, it's got delay, time, I believe that is, and feedback. And then this guy here tells you what you, the type you're switching. And it's got all sorts of stuff. Um, but the, and then, uh, and then it has a tap button in the middle for your delays, right? It's a little tiny button, like all their stuff, little tiny buttons, but very good buttons, all the, all the stuff they build. Um, and you can also hook in, it's got another port on the side, kind of like this guy does but its port does a tap. So you can hook in a little, another little pedal or something that will allow you to tap tempo your delays. Very handy. Um, haven't used it in that function yet, but uh, like, it's one of those, like I said, it's one of those things we're really excited to try at some point is hooking in a switch there to see if we can tap tempo. Um, but overall, this is our pedal chain and we, we use it a lot. Um, gets used on records all the time. Sometimes we just want to fiddle in the studio. Sometimes we'll take our DAW here and we'll run a couple channels through it and kind of reamp or, you know, it just, it's got a lot of uses. And since it's small, it can, you can kind of throw it anywhere um, that you want. So, um, if you guys have any questions about this pedal setup or are just curious on why, we want this style of chain or um, or why we chose it even, why we didn't go with a big massive pedal board or digital, um, hit us up in the comments or send us a message. Um, 
check, check out more of our videos that we've got online. You can also uh, check out our, our website at foxandrobin.com. Uh, that's kind of the best place to get a hold of us. Um, and uh, look out for more videos. Uh, and also subscribe if you get a chance. Uh, like I said, we'll be rolling out some more videos. And uh, also some short videos too. We've got some short clips that we've been kind of rolling out the last few weeks. Um, but thanks for watching and have a wonderful afternoon or morning, depending on when you're watching. We'll see you next time.